Well, that is the latest single, if only, from our next guest, the soulful singer-songwriter who hails from Northland. Please welcome to the cafe, Teeks. Yes! Welcome. Um, Thanks, first, mate. Yeah, congratulations on your debut EP, The Grapefruit Skies. Thank you. Is it true, when you were young, you didn't actually want, you weren't that into music? No, not like I am now, no. Well, how wasn't. can you not be into music when you're a child <laughs> and then turn I into know, this? I, was, I suppose I was always, you know, I was always immersed in singing and, because, you know, coming up and doing kapaka and um, plus part of our culture, you know, performing. So I guess in that sense, yeah, I was um, into music, but I didn't really discover my passion for it till like high school. Okay, so what was the turning point for you? When did you all of a sudden think, okay, I'm actually okay, and this <laughs> might give it a crack. Was it somebody telling you or was it you thinking I might try something new? What was it? Yeah, I guess it was a bit of both. I was probably in high school, we, um, me and a few of my friends, we put a band together and uh, entered like Pacifica Beats and Smoke Free White Quest. So Brilliant. Those competitions, I think, were big. Have you still got footage of that? Uh, somewhere. Do you watch it? <laughs> I bet you watch Sometimes, yeah, I have a look. But, and, and yeah, do you cringe or do you yeah, go, oh, no, no, we're I, great? <laughs> <laughs> we're awesome. We, we should have been a big deal. We moments, eh? But <laughs> <laughs> I, don't regret, I don't regret doing any of it because it, you know, made me... Well, no, and, um, and that is a good thing about the, uh, the Smoke Free Rock Quest and Pacifica Beats, I think, because there's been so many artists in mm. New Zealand that don't know they can do this, all of a mm. sudden get together in high school and yeah. then boom, yeah. Yeah. before you it know it, good, it, it's a career, which is fantastic. You've got quite a unique voice, though. So uh, are you influenced by anybody or did you just stumble across that style? Soul music. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I listen to a lot, a lot of music, so I guess I'm influenced a lot by different artists. Um, a lot of old school. Um, well, which is interesting yeah. though, Tix, because a lot bridges. of people your age wouldn't be listening to soul <laughs> music, I guess. Yeah. So was it your family or is it just something you gravitated to? Um, I think I just gravitated towards it. I mean, my dad listened to a lot of like Bob Marley and yeah. Elvis Presley, and that's all I listened to like as a kid because that's all he played. And, Nora Jones. And but there's something, I think soul music is having a bit of a resurgence, isn't it? it it's is. like, it's, it's, almost, it's become quite popular again, like mm. the likes of Leon Bridges and mm. things, bringing it sort of to an, another Bridges, audience. Yeah, and in the UK as well, they're doing pretty, pretty good there, like Adele, um, well, Sam Smith. Well, it's yeah, exactly. Of, Big voices. Yeah, I think it's just because the music's so, like, um, real. Yeah. I don't know. And tells a good story. It, too, tells a good doesn't story. it? it tells yeah. a good story. So Tama Waipara helped to get you there. Someone is that Waipara, right? Yeah, he, he teed it up. He used to stay over there, um, so he had a lot of contacts. So yeah. Yeah, we've had him on the show before. Did you ever think that you imagine sort of five, ten years ago that you'd be going and recording your EP no. in New York? No, I wouldn't. Nah, it's always been. I've always wanted to go there. So so. Yeah, it was, that was massive for me, yeah. As, as a learning curve, would there be anything, if you, you know, do at round two, that yep. you would do differently? Um, funny thing is, like, when I went over and recorded, I, I got sick, like, um, a couple of days before I was supposed to, supposed to go into the studio. I'm <laughs> no. not sure, like, swelled up, but it was, I think it was my wisdom, too. Oh, so no. Maybe, like... Maybe not get sick. Yeah, maybe not get sick. Okay, <laughs> have enough sleep before going over. And make yeah, you've got to keep yourself well. Yeah. I mean, how does it feel? Because you've got that kind of voice that really does uh, make people's... They get goosebumps, and you really make them feel something quite quite intense. How does that feel? Um, I don't know. It feels <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it? I mean, it's, feel, it's definitely cool to... Because I love performing and singing live, so having that... Um, reciprocal energy with, with you know, the audiences. Do you get those people doing that double take when they sort of like see you and they go, oh, yeah, and then you open your, your mouth and you have this incredible deep <laughs> voice with all this emotion in it. Do they sort of go, whoa? Yeah, I suppose people don't expect me to <laughs> sing with that yeah, voice, I suppose. And Tix, we talked about, I guess, the message that music has. So, you know, what, what are you thinking about when you're writing a song? What's going through your head? Mm. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> the song. That is yeah, yeah, the <laughs> song. Yeah, yeah, the the song yeah. the feels. Yeah. I write, I write a, about different, all sorts of things right. and some stuff that I experience and go through in my life and as well as stuff that I see in my friends and my family go through. Mm. So it's, yeah, kind of... Um, you're part of the, the Pau 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 development initiative as well. I mean, how does that work? That mm. supports emerging yeah. Māori artists? Yeah, so Pau 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 was a yeah, Māori mentoring programme. I was a part of in the 2014 intake, so... It's a three weekend um, 
So you get mentored by the likes of Tama Waipara and things. Tama Waipara, Have yeah. you been invited back to be a mentor now? Because I'm sure you will be. Oh. <laughs> not, not yet. No, I haven't. I mean, yeah, def I'd definitely like to go back and um, help out or be a part of it in yeah. some way. So. And, and what do you want to see in the future? Like, where do you want to take this? Um, I want to do everything. <laughs> I just want to keep singing. Yeah, nice. So that, yeah, as long as I can wake up and just make music, then that's all. Yeah, cool. Well, yeah, we hope you can too, because what an awesome voice. Yeah, and that's a beautiful place to leave it, Teeks. And we're so grateful that you've come in today. Really looking forward yeah. to hearing Thanks the song. Teeks' debut EP, The Grapefruit Skies, is out now. Do go and have a listen, as it is absolutely stunning. Yeah, it, it is. is. Thanks Thank so much, you. Teeks. Thanks so much. And make sure that you stick around too for that performance that we have a little bit later on. See you next time. Bye. Cut for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>